Holy Joe Rock and Roll reporting to you live from the mean streets of Kiev, the Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Holy Joe Rock and Roll coming at you live, unscripted on Holy Joe Rock and Roll TV. Here we are today in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. The last two months, we've seen violence on the streets as protesters have protest against the president of Ukraine's cancellation of early talks to move Ukraine closer to the European Union. Instead, he's been swayed to the side of Russia. Now, the 2010 election results, which you see here, show an incomplete picture of what's happening in the Ukraine. You can see that counties to the west and north tended to go with the pro-EU candidate by about 74%. And countries to the east and south tended to vote for the Russian-leaning candidate, again by about 75%. Now, those numbers show that there's 25% on either side leaning towards the other direction. And as I said, this is an incomplete picture of what's actually happening. We, we may be on the crust of a civil war in the Ukraine because within both of those camps there are splits sometimes down the middle of families family members against family members and it doesn't even break down on old versus young it's those people who feel that Ukraine's best future is to join with the European Union to be closer to the European Union and potentially join the European Union as an equal partner the Ukrainian people can clearly see what has happened to their neighbors in the Baltic area. We're talking about Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. These three countries also were under the yoke of Russia. They broke away after the fall of communism, declared their independence, and have joined the European Union. There have been bumps in the road, but their move towards the European Union has been relatively peaceful and smooth. Ukraine, on the other hand, sometimes called the breadbasket of Europe, has been called the breadbasket of Europe. A beautiful country with beautiful women. I have been here many times and I invite you to come and check it out for yourself. Delicious food, delicious women. I encourage you to come to the Ukraine when things settle down and discover the country for yourself. Cities like Lvov or Lviv used to be Polish cities. In fact, Poland stretched from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea in times gone by. Many people in western Ukraine have Polish roots or say they have Polish ancestors, Polish grandfather, Polish grandmother, that type of stuff. People in the east of the country, when I've asked them, you're Ukrainian, right? They would say, well, I'm Russian, but I'm Ukrainian. So they too have maybe a split personality where maybe their parents or great-grandparents great may have immigrated to the Ukraine, to eastern Ukraine from Russia, which was part of a Soviet plan to dominate the country. And now they become Ukrainian in their hearts and their minds and left Russia behind. Folks, it's a very delicate situation. I'm only able to talk to you today because the protest the protesters have decided to give it a truce, give this a moment of truce, and they've demanded that the government hold early elections and dissolve the parliament, dissolve the government, giving them a chance to elect a new government which hopefully will be more in sync with their demands and their national aspirations. Ukraine is a huge country. It's an amazing country. What can I say? Uh, I actually have the best orange juice ever, ever, was made and grown and made in the Ukraine. I don't know how they did it, but 
no other orange juice that came out of a package tasted this good in my life. And that is a swear. The best course of action in today's world is for the Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian government, to lean towards the European Union, at least, <clears throat> at least continue the dialogue to move the country more towards the European Union. That is not to say that the Ukraine has to be negative or nasty to Russia. They can, there, I, I see no reason why they can't have good relations with Russia and move closer to the West. Now, I can realize, and you must realize, that Russia thinks of Ukraine as a client state, just like they treat Belarus. Folks, you've got to open your eyes. Putin is not a good guy, because if he really, really was counting, looking out for the people on his periphery, he would let Ukraine go. Freedom for the Ukrainian people. As you can see, here I am in Lvov during the Orange Revolution, lending my my personal vote of confidence that the Orange Revolution, part of the Velvet Revolution that swept through many of these countries, would end on a positive note. There were some early successes, and then the new government, as we have now, has taken power, moving the country back towards the sphere of influence of Russia. Reporting to you live and unscripted for HJRR TV. This is Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Until next time, be safe and drink your orange juice. Peace out.